Allen Mountain today. I'd sign in, but oh, oh, I found the pencils. Pencil stash is in here. Let's take care of that. Well, we're all signed in. Put the over under on four and a half people that we would see doing Allen today, and sure enough, I already found two in the parking lot. So we uh, not much long, not much further to go before we meet that quota. So it's going to be about an 18 mile day too. So this is going to take a while. Needless to say. It's a nice road to walk in. Yeah. So at least part of this will be nice small part but whatever Andrew came up with a nice little piece of paper with foolproof directions today get it right here a 13 point guide to not missing any landmarks <laughs> during our here's 13 trip. point plan to not catastrophically screw up Alan <laughs> Don't pass around and get screw up your ankle right now. Yeah, well, like, you know, minor details. It's, it'll be fine. Uh, oh, is this our first stream crossing already? Open space initiative. Run <laughs> card, back and tire furnace, DEC, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What's going on over here? <laughs> Did your 13 point plan cover this? I guess not. <laughs> it's a great start to the day, two minutes in. Yeah, the trail goes over there on the bridge. See a bridge? Oh, oh yeah, I see a bridge. All right, never mind. We got this. Under control. Usually it takes a little bit before the hikes start getting interesting, but we already got ourselves a little suspension bridge over here. I'm gonna get a little wobbly. I guess they had plenty of iron around here to make this bridge. It's gonna be a long day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. just starting. Nice fresh rain last night. And we got some nice mud. Real nice mud. Ugh. Already. This is gonna be a weird ass day. All right, let's go. We want to get the pace going on these flats. Oh, all right. Well, trail kind of forked off right there. Um, apparently, this is where people used to go across. They used to cross the lake here, I think, and then they rerouted the trail around the. Yeah. You can kind of see the old battlements there. Yeah. That's what it looks like anyway. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there's the old bridge right there. Yeah. Right over there. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like where people used to go over this, but you just got this little lake. Real shallow lake, but we're gonna go around it. Back to where they kind of rerouted this thing. Um, and then keep going. I did not do any homework on this hike. That was all Andrew. So, I hope he knows where he's going, because I have no idea. I <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely better than the lake. I'd rather be crossing this. Anyway. Ugh. This is, uh, I already got the feel of just being a long, tough day. 
so much mud everywhere and uh, this trail obviously is going to be doing some weird stuff and this is just the hike in so I'm going to have to kind of get a move on look at this Ugh. that didn't take long for my legs to get caked in mud this is some sketchy stuff man Sketchy logs here, sketchy planks. We just walked around that lake. Here we are on the other side of it now. I don't even know if the planks do anything. It's all mud over here. So, don't provide much relief from that. It's the thought that counts, I guess. Hmm. Really? Oh. Jeez. I'm trying to step on whatever rocks I see in here. This is my typical practice in bogs like this. But it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hopeless. This is, again, this is gonna be a long day. What would we call this? A little overzealous logging? I guess this is what we would call blowdown. Right. We're gonna go around this thing. <laughs> All right, so you wanna tell me what's going on here? This is the old fire taker's cabin at the foot of Adams. It's been abandoned for a little while, but people go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Might as well. Should be good. Okay. Let's get an old email from 2008 yeah. and then something from 1953. This is interesting. Allen Mountain, you've been interesting so far. This isn't really even Allen, this is just the way to. Yeah. All right, well that was cool. Now to keep hiking. Yeah, a little old mining area. At least it's a little less muddy over here. That's a nice break. Not gonna expect that to last by any means. I don't even know if we've gone a mile yet, but it feels like it. Pretty close anyway. Already passed the uh, turn off our Mount Adams. That's going to be marked by a red uh, foot trail marker, so do not take that if you have no intention of hiking Adams, because you will not end up on Allen. Well, trail's going off the road now. We hardly knew your road. Probably going to go back to the mud and thick crap again. Oh, this is solid. Looks like somebody had enough of this and set it a cut a little path up in the woods here. I don't usually advocate trail erosion, but in this case, I'm gonna make an exception because I don't feel like walking through this crap. Yeah, see you on the other side. It's one of Andrew's landmarks. He is uh, detailed in his 13 point plan. No, it's not part of the 13 point plan. Not part of the 13 point plan? 13 point plan's only for the herd path. Uh-huh. Only for the herd path. Ugh. So, now that we just passed this useless gate, at the opalescent over here, looks like we're coming up on a portion here where we're gonna have to go across this river. Uh, so you can see the sign there pointing us down that way. Fortunately though, there's a nice bridge, so we don't gotta worry about it. Hey, we're gonna cross the opalescent. This bridge is shaky as shit. Woo! That was bouncy. 
Yeah. Pretty cool though. It's getting pretty thick and overgrown in here after we cross the opalescent. The trail's narrow and uh, the vegetation is pretty thick, so we're just trying to make our way through this as quickly as we can. But uh, yeah, just lived up to the billing so far as a pretty difficult hike, and you can tell it's not too much traffic that goes through here other than 46ers. So, uh, and the mudge back. That's the other thing. The mud. There's more. Yippee. Oh boy. Okay. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Uh, I'm gonna fall in, aren't I? Oh, no, I avoided it. Yippee. Jesus F. Freaking cripes. Oh, there we go. Yep. Whole boot in the mud. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. My boot's untied. Allen Mountain, you a jerk. Well, we're a little undecided on this, but I can't figure out if that's Cliff Mountain over there or if that's the destination of the day. You can't really see it very well with the camera, but through the trees, we can make out what is clearly one of the 46ers, but we don't know which one from our vantage point right now. Mainly because we've never been at this vantage point before, so I don't know what it looks like from here. Um, more mud. Yeah, can't avoid it. it. Sucks. I don't know if you're getting tired of watching mud clips yet, but we're getting tired of walking through it, so I guess I'm just going to su subject you to it. It does not stop. And it's bad, I mean, it's like ankle deep in most places. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, there's just, yeah, you're right, there's just no chance here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to get over that one. Oh. Well, here's a nice little sign that someone scrawled out. It says, Alan Colden and Marcy. That way, or you can just walk through that shit. Uh, another brook crossing. Which I strangely prefer to the mud. Uh, here we go. Don't know how I'm gonna get through this without getting wet. Who cares? Yep. Oh, slipped off that rock. And it's just like, nah, now nah, I'm out. I'm gonna use this little rock here. All right. Almost got through that without issue. Coming up on Andrew's landmark for Allen, which is strangely enough an arrow that says Allen on it. Pretty descriptive. Yeah, I mean, straightforward. I like it. That was the goal. That's kind of a welcome sight, old logging road. And what does the Andrew itinerary say? Turn left. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, we just signed in at this second trail register and uh, we are now being greeted with more mud. Shocker there, news flash. Oh man, it has been some tough sledding so far, and now the real fun begins, supposedly. We should start ascending, hopefully. Yeah, there's like enough water in my boot to sustain human life for about like four weeks. It's that bad. Oh. And it's just more and more and more. But hey, at least now it looks like we're ascending. So we're getting closer. Yippee. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Blow down. It's nice to mix it up a little bit, you know. Got some mud. Throw a little blow down in there. Followed by a lake in the middle of the trail. Yeah. Alan's just covering its bases. Gonna try not to fall. Which is remarkably difficult to do, believe it or not, when all the tracks on my boots are, are gone and everything is muddy. Ugh. Oh yay. More obstacles. You aren't even climbing yet. No. So you're gonna go across this on these logs. Should be fun. Nice little spot too. Yeah. All right. My turn. You get a nice video of me getting really wet in a minute. <laughs> Oop. That's what I got to deal with. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's real, real friggin' stable. Fortunately, it's not very deep, so that was easy. Here we go, I guess. Here comes the blowdown. It's, well, it's everywhere. Fortunately, someone's been through here with a chainsaw, so it's not too bad. Good on you, 46ers. Good on you. Been going for quite a bit, though. We uh, really only stopped a couple times to crush down a couple waters and that's about it. I mean, it's been a really flat day so far. It's just really wet, really muddy. So that's really the only thing that slowed us down. But uh, right now we're just kind of undulating, going up and down a little bit. You figure eventually we're gonna get to a portion where we just start going up until we get to the top. But uh, who knows? I have not paid any attention at all to the mileage or really how far we've gone. I think it's a little past 11 o'clock. It's hoping to be up there for 12.30, so we'll see what happens. Huh. Hey look, water. Point number six, cross Skylight Brook, be a large fallen tree, head uphill. All right. Point number six, I guess. That also means that there's seven points left. Two of them are just look out, look out. Oh. Five. Well, all right. So we're gonna watch Andrew do this. He's gonna end up one or two ways. Either he's gonna get swept down Skylight Brook and die, or he's gonna successfully cross it. So far, success. And he just said, screw this log. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. I am not going to attempt this uh, with the camera on. Uh, I'm not really feeling that today. Nope. My shoes are too muddy. No traction. I'll probably fall. So, all right, time to go. Well, another one of Andrew's landmarks. Big, big flipping waterfall. Cat follows Allen Brook. Right there. I bet it does. You wanna? Get a quick bite. Sure. Yeah. Give me some strength for that ascent of Alan there. Leaving the brook now. It's or the waterfall. Yeah, again, Steve. <sighs> you had to at some point, I guess. All right, here we go. This all can, looks like it's been rerouted from all this blowdown. But uh, at least that makes it a little easier. Not that this. Not that this day's really been all that tough as far as physically, it's just the sloppy trail conditions have made everything a little dicier than it needs to be. So, anyway, we're just taking our time. Honestly, probably got less than a mile left. I figured just by looking at the map and estimating, uh, we were at that waterfall, it was about a mile left, so. Jesus. 
Why don't you just messed up? This stupid slide or brook or whatever. Ah, blow down trees. Everything is wet. Not good. Not good. Slippery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up hurting myself. This keeps up. All right. So I just fell pretty bad. Um, if it wasn't for a tree that I had to grab onto there. I'm just gonna go for a, one hell of a ride. Arms bleeding. Um, that one hurt. That one hurt quite a bit. Uh, yeah, not feeling too good right now. Uh, landed hard on my elbow. So. Uh, I was worried about that. I think I just mentioned that the trail sucks. All right, time to shake it off. Gotta just go. Well, at least that's a little re reward for all the pain and suffering today. I'm gonna be losing quarts of friggin' blood out of my fucking elbow now. Excuse my language. I'm starting to take a personal vendetta against Allen Mountain right now in this stupid slide. Anyway, let's go. What the hell, man? Really? Really? Really, Alan? This is why no one likes you. This is why everyone writes bad things about you. Gives you hurt elbows, and you're like a freaking oil slick on a 45 degree rock. Well, the trail is starting to level out after that really steep section. That was. Oh, took a lot out of me. I'm in a pretty good deal of pain right now. Oh, just need my hip to get through the rest of the day. My elbow's just cut up. I'm not worried about that, but my hip, when I landed on that rock, landed right on it, so definitely really stiff right now. I'm just gonna try to get through this one. Oh, Alan, you are such a dick. I hope that's it. Right over this bump. I really can't see anything past it, so fingers crossed. I'm having fun, right? Yeah. It's gonna be number 45, this is great. Yeah. So I feel like this is on you. Yeah. I was like, hey, we should do haystack today. And you were like, no, let's do Allen today after a big old storm. And you fell, and that's just kind of what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andrew's just rubbing it in right now. <laughs> well, I gave you an out. You did give me an out, but you know what? No oh, well, it ends well. No, no regrets. I'm not dead. Yeah. Yet. Really there's, there's still the way down, but here's Haystack. That will be the final 46er. Yeah, as well as the next 46er. This is number 45 for us. And my official halfway point to the Northeast 111, aka 115. Yay. It's 57 and a half on the summit here at Allen. Actually, get this decent little look out here. I wasn't really expecting much, but. This is, nice. this is pretty nice. I dig it. Just gotta get rid of this friggin' thing right here. It'll fall someday. Yeah, someday. Hopefully. Pretty dead. Hopefully. It looks pretty pretty messed pretty up. Dead. Anyway. This has been fun. Ow. Yeah, it's been fun. Let's go take a picture at the friggin' sign and, and leave this piece of junk. Should probably stop insulting the mountain before I fall again. Yeah. Whatever. I get a much more, or a bigger sense anyway of how steep this is going down. I mean, looking down, this is like wow. Tough going up, and 
very treacherous going down. I mean, it was treacherous going up, but I mean, I don't want to be twice as careful going down here. Do not want to fall again. That would, uh, again, ruin my day. Just try to make it back to where we're on relatively flat ground and then we are going to tear right out of this place. Alan is just messing up, up right now. Going down and this little asshole spot on the mountain, I slipped, Andrew slipped twice, went down. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen worse. Particularly on myself today. I'm just saying I got mine too. Yeah. So. Got your comeuppance. Uh, we're back at this little thing. This little waterfall. And uh, we're past all the dangerous stuff now. Now it's just walking now. Walking out for a long, long time. There'll be mud. There'll be lots of mud, um, but no more of the slippery. Uh, no more slippery death trap. Yeah, I think we're good now. Yeah. So, Alan, I hope to never, never see you ever again. see you again. No. Let's. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm done with that. No. Stop. stop. Well, we're back at this trail register thing. Andrew was excited until I reminded him that we still have like six friggin' miles left. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, and he was pissed. But that's okay. It is what it is. Nothing we can do. <sighs> well, back to this thing. Uh. Yeah. Old bridge. Which is no longer here. And, uh,. Crossing the opalescent again. Oh man. This day is a lot more uh, mentally exhausting than physically. My legs, as far as fatigue, are okay. Other than that, hurt, you know, that fall. But just the mud and all that crap, it just drains you. Now we bouncing. Yeah, just looking at the river though, I mean, really, if you need it to ford it, you could. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, even after that. Yeah. I know it. That happens, like, anything. Well, back to the stupid cabins. Old one. I am so ready to be out of, out of this place. Should be about 40 minute walk. Now we're out, so we'll just see you in the friggin' parking lot. Andrew crosses the Hudson for the final time today. Or ever. Probably ever. Hopefully ever. Uh, now we got like five minutes till we're back at the car. So, thank God. I'm spent. Ugh. <laughs> ah, we're back. Sign ourselves out of here forever. All right. Well, we're back in the car, and uh, wow. Yeah, I don't got much to say about this one, but uh, that was bad. I mean, they they say Alan's bad. It's it's not a joke. Yeah. Yeah, Alan sucks. Um, There's eight miles of mud and one aisle, one mile of just going up. I don't even know what that was. Yeah, one mile death trap. Death trap's a good word for it. Yeah. It's so slippery up top. He and I both fell a lot. Mm hmm. Multiple times. Multiple, yeah. yeah. Not just once. My elbow's all jacked up. Which, you know, that's great. My, my hips also jacked up, which is great. Um, but we got an album done. Yeah, never mind. Hard one. Difficulty, uh, ten. ten, yeah, ten, ten, 
Yeah, that's pitch all the bad as anything, really. I mean, they, they don't undersell it, you know. No, no. <laughs> they say no, Alan's one of the worst ones for a reason. It's yeah. real. It's Alan real. sucks. Yeah, yeah. It's not even so much the physical, like we were talking about, but yeah. it's like the mental journey of going to Allen. You just can't understand Mud. That. Mud. You're so just, much mud. You're just creeping through mud. You're switching oh. off trails, on and off trails all day. I mean, you're looking for signs, looking for things. It's just not straightforward. You're going up and down and up and down just to get to the hard no. part. And no, once you get the, to the hard part, yeah. you have to watch your footing constantly, or else you fall 20 feet down a ravine, like you did. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Um, pardon my French. Um, views! Yeah. Oh, well, one from the summit. There's nothing <laughs> to see at the summit. I mean, it's a nice view, though, from... <laughs> so bad! <laughs> from, like, the east of it, though. You go a little bit east of the summit, you, you get a nice view of everything around, so... Having uh, five from the look after. Sure. Yeah, it was a little spot. At that point, I cared so little. I'm just like, yeah, I didn't really care either. <laughs> I'm just like, me out I of just here. wanted to get out of there. This mountain sucks. And it took us another five hours to get out. <laughs> I know. Fortunately, it's over 45 in the Adirondacks for us, and then one I got more. Yeah, one more, one more. I'm halfway to the 115, 111, whatever you want to call it. He's not too far behind that. He's just got a couple, but uh, time to go. Time to go, and now uh, don't know which one we'll be doing next. It's either gonna be a haystack or something in New Hampshire, but we'll figure it out. See you next time.